Hi, it's Terry Edwards here, Renegade Recruiter. And we're the guys that recruitment and search firm has come to when they want to make more placements at a higher fee and fewer headaches. And today I want to share with you why working on, on contingency is bad for the client, bad for the candidate, and most importantly, bad for you as a recruiter. See, here's what we know. Uh, we talk to recruitment and search firm owners on a daily basis and the majority of recruiters work on this contingent model, which means is they, they get the job order, they work on it, if they fill the job order, then they get paid. If they don't fill it, the, despite the fact they've done all that work, uh, they don't get paid. Now, from the client's point of view, what that means is whoever fills that role will be the recruiter who can fill the role the quickest. Not the best recruiter, but the fastest recruiter. Now think about that. The client's actually buying uh, the recruiter who can fill the role the quickest. The client will argue with you, well, the reason I give this job order to a number of recruiters is because I want to make sure I get the best, uh, best, uh, best out there. But again, let's be really logical about it. In particular, if you're working in a candidate-driven market, you're no doubt familiar with the law of supply and demand. A client can't say to you, there's, there's a shortage of quality candidates, but I'm going to pay you a lower fee and I want everybody to work. It, it, it doesn't make sense because think about it. If that same client has a direct competitor who says, no, 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 I'll do things differently. I'll pay you a higher fee. I'll work on with you on the retained or exclusive basis because there's shortage of good quality candidate, candidates around. Because I know that if I do that, I'm going to whoever pays the highest fee is going to get the best candidates. From your point of view as a recruiter, it's your duty to make as much profit in, as possible. There is, there is no other reason that you're in business but to make profit. Some people may find that distasteful. I just kind of say get over it, but that's what you're in, in, in business for. So the recruiter that can get the work on a retained basis or an exclusive basis with a client who's dedicated and committed to the process is going to get a much better service. From the candidate's point of view, the candidate, again, particularly in, the, in a candidate-driven uh, market, is inundated with phone calls from recruiters all talking about the same role. So the candidate gets several phone calls from a number of recruiters all about the same role. All that does is, is it just pisses off the candidate because the second or third time they get that phone call, it's like, guys, I've, I've heard this all before. So all you're doing is just piss, piss off the candidate. From the recruiter's point of view, the average contingent recruiter will fill between 10 and 30% of the roles that they work on. Let me repeat that. They will fill between 10 and 30% of the roles that they work on. However you look at that, the majority of the time they're working, they will not get paid. Think about that. Even if at the top end and they're filling 40% of the roles, that means that 60% of the time they're working, they're not getting paid. Majority recruiters, they will, uh, majority recruiters will fill about 20% of the roles. So 80% of the time they're working, they're not getting paid. So what that means is 80% of the work they do is rejected. 80% of the work they're doing is rejected. Now, if you're a recruiter that also cold calls again, you know that if you're cold calling, most of the calls at the times you're making those cold calls, you're rejected. And the work you're doing is rejected. So you're living in a state of constant rejection. That doesn't serve you. It's taking its toll on you, uh, both short term and long term. Nobody wants that constant rejection. Now look, if you're an owner or a director of a recruitment or search firm and you'd like to discover the secret formula so you can work purely on exclusive or retained assignments, simply send me a personal message and we'll jump on a call and I'll share with you exactly what to do. You have to be the owner or director of the business. You must be absolutely committed uh, 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 to getting, the, getting this done. The call will take about 15 minutes and we'll, I'll, I'll go through a press and share with you exactly what to do. So send me a personal message and I'll share the information to you. The alternative, of course, is keep working on contingency and working and most of the time not getting paid. So look, if you want to do things, uh, if you want to work less and earn more, simply send me a personal message and I'll share with you exactly how to do that. Until next time, take care, take action and be relentless.